Hello everybody, you're watching Tenacious Viking TV. Welcome back to Sim Airport. I'm Tenacious Viking, your airport manager host. Well, we did it. We created a 12 baggage carousel uh, baggage claim uh, on the other side of the road <laughs> where we threatened to do it. What I did was I, uh, I knew I'd need four more carousels, so I put three of them here and one up here to kind of mark the, the area, and also so I could figure out where to put the hubs. And, uh, and then I hooked those hubs up, and, uh, and then I just uh, moved the eight from the original area over two at a time. I think these two first, and then a couple of these, and, uh, and so on, and until I had the, the 12 over here and had all the conveyors hooked up. Now here's the Here's the conveyor system and the hub system. Oh, can't quite see all the hubs, can I? So they all come in here and go all the way around to the hubs and get distributed. And uh, it was pretty easy to do, actually, and it's working well. You notice we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we had seven. Seven of the 12 hubs. That would have been one short of max. And if we add three, four, five, six more gates, that that would uh, the eight the eight uh, carousel system would have been overwhelmed. Now, I'm I'm saving this space here for possibly ticket desks. But to do that, I I have to connect to the conveyor system. I should be able to do that by um, going underground here under a subfloor, and and coming out over here and and connecting to up to five uh, ticketing desks here. I'll probably also go ahead and finish this off in here so that uh, the crew can get around if nothing else. Uh, everything else is, is moved. I had to keep these two hubs here just to connect to the, uh, to the uh, what are these things called again? Oh, I don't know. Here. Come on. Baggage depots. Okay. And so now I can show you what I did to the old, in the old baggage area. Uh, as you see, I now have a six wide lane open. People are still only using two, but they've got more if they need it um, with the gates. I, I wanted to keep this uh, door open so we'd have the symmetry and the uh, access to the pickup area. So I, uh, I made this area in the middle here. I took out two baggage uh, lines, put them over here and added four more kept the uh, ID stands over here a ways so that they would be away from the queue for these and I think that's that's successful um, and then I put the, replaced the uh, the bathrooms that were here uh, over here I think are the same size the same number of units is just drawn out instead of on two sides and I added the larger restrooms here as people leave because everybody knows when you get off a plane the first thing you want to do is go to a restroom you know, so I mean, I'm sure some of them stop on the way, but if they forget, <laughs> uh, plus they have to go um, to uh, they have to go under the, under here to get to the baggage car. So why is there a baggage cart? What is it, who isn't hooked up to the baggage system? I'll have to check that and see if some of the gates are not hooked up to the. To the baggage system. I, I suppose they aren't because I didn't really double check for that, but I, I thought I had that right. Uh, up here, um, and I don't know what else I've done that, uh, oh, well, one, okay, the other thing I've done is I finished moving these two runways. And no, they're not moving runways. I physically moved the runways um, over to here, and I left uh, a lot of the uh, taxiway infrastructure in place because most airports have much more elaborate taxiways than what I have, so I left this all in place here for so several different ways for planes to get to uh, to the runways now, which I think is appropriate. I think, I think, I don't know. Uh, got all the uh, fuel things moved. Um, we only have three instead of four now. Uh, we should check to see if oh well, I took too long to. Uh, if we're meeting demand, yeah, we are. We're 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 meeting demand right now. Um, oh no, we're not. We're supplying only uh, a little over half of the uh, of the demand. So I may have to add that uh, fourth tank back. I'm not sure where I'll put it yet, but it'll be a place it'll be easy to hook up to because I don't really want to run more pipes. 
Uh, don't really want to put it over here. It's bad enough we have the fuel depot here without having tanks um, here if we if we extend this building out. So there's that. I don't think we'll need to extend this out now that I've found a way to, to widen this. I'll put some chairs in here and maybe even some along here since nobody's using it anyway. I might even just put a wall here and cut down to, to four security exits. So we can have a few chairs here and I also need to put some chairs in the baggage area over here because people get tired waiting for their stupid luggage and just want to sit down and complain. So we'll probably do that too. But right now the focus is on the new terminal, terminal B as I call it. Uh, up here, it's done obviously, and we've done a little bit of work here. We have the escalators in place at both ends. We do not have uh, the uh, moving walkways uh, yet. This will be a restroom uh, here and here. Um, I looked at this little thing I made here and I went, oh shoot, what am I going to do with this area? Oh, restrooms. I'm going to need restrooms. So, But I'm not even going to open that up until we start to work on that in earnest, and we're not doing that at the moment. I, I don't think we'll do much more than just a dining room here. I, we don't really don't need anything else. Um, unless I... Because otherwise I have to put in a bunch of hallways. I don't really want to do that. Um, I suppose I could put a hallway in and put storage in one area and a, re and a restaurant on the other. And then leave it open to whatever else I might need to do. But I really don't want to do that. I really, really, really don't want to do that. This seems wider than my other concourses, and so I'm wondering if I need a third floor on it even. I may only do a second floor. Um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. You can see I've done a lot of measuring and things and checking, and I, I should have done more, perhaps. Um, so let's go put the uh, walkways in. Um, from ground floor, so coming down here, I kept, I had to think through these things because I'm not the smart. I don't remember where the walkways are either. I think it's, is that under utilities? Or is it structures? It's not structures. Well, if the escalators are here, the walkways should be here, right? Why don't I see them? Because I'm dumb. I can never find those. Storage shelf. That reminds me I need to do, to do storage. Uh, huh. There it is, moving walkway under construction. I don't know why it's under there. Okay, if this is red, it means you're not going up there. It means you're coming from there. So it should be like this, right? I think, and then that means this one should be like this. Why is that one longer? So we have that. Flooring. I need something pizzazzy for the flooring here. Something really, oh, I don't know if it's pizzazzy, but sophisticated, classy, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I have noises. Noises off. Uh, boy. Do I 
have this anywhere? I don't think I do, do I? That's pretty, it looks pretty classy, I think. If I remember right, you know what I do wood, it's gotta be the stone or, do I have green stone anywhere? Can I make green the color of the, of the new area? The green concourse? I should because I got brown and blue already. So maybe that's a harbinger. Um, I'm gonna see what this looks like. I just I, I'm, I might hate it, but I'm gonna see it anyway. There. <laughs> I bet you that's gonna look obnoxious. Oh well. All right, let's take out this. Uh, Invisible. Tape measure here and see what we can do with it. Uh, I'm going to leave that in for a while because I need to know that that's a... In fact, I could just as well make that taxiway now. I think that's a given that I'm going to do this. Right? So let's go to construction taxiway and this. Just, oh, you piece of junk. Oh, I hate you so much. There. Okay, are those 30 or 20? I hope they're 30. I should check. XL. Yeah, they're 30. All right, sweet. I'm gonna leave this space here too. I might put a, a hanger there. One, two and a half. Mm. Yeah. Man, people are stupid. Gosh, maybe I have room for... Um, okay, well, I think we're all right here. I don't know if I should start building the, the restaurant or the second story. <laughs> Not quite sure what to do. Hmm. Well, <laughs> while I'm thinking about it, I guess I can build the second story, yeah. Floor. We'll get these guys going on this. See how that goes. I have no idea where I'm putting a stairway. Yeah, that kind of has to be right in front of the, of the... Just as you come up the escalator, doesn't it? So that suggests I have to have some kind of a hallway or that the hallway is going to be blocked anyway. Maybe I just need an, uh, a, an atrium there. Hmm. That'd be all right. I could put some nice amenities there and stuff. Um, some chairs and some... The proverbial newsstand and the ATM and the display. Yeah, I'm going to need to do that. So I wonder how much room I need. It's going to be a long and narrow hallway. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with both sides of that. I, I got I got to move storage, but that ain't going to take up all that space. Maybe I just leave it open and um, and uh, yeah, I can leave it. I can kind of connect it to the dining area, so it'll be storage on one side and the kitchen on the other side, and then leave the rest open and I'll add on to it if I need it. 
All right, so the question is, how big do I want to make a dining room? Uh, I want to make that decision now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, hmm. Nine seems like a good number for some reason. Let's see. One, two, three. Tables take up three spaces. Chair, table, chair. And we need a space in between. And how much width? Do we have enough width for three tables across? So four and four, eight. Let's go. Let's go thirteen. What if I can figure out? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Um, oops, I lost count. How many, shoot, how many? One, two, three, dang it, four. One, two, three. Okay, I got them. <laughs> I got to use the tape measure because this, uh, it skips. I'm getting some lag and I can't tell. So I was going to do, oh, I got to have room for cash registers too, so. Um, that'll be another one, two, three, twelve, fifteen, and a couple to spare. Let's go to that. And that should be good for, um, what am I doing? Oh, no, I don't want that. Planning. Okay, so let's get this uh, wall in here. Come on. <laughs> now for, oop, for storage. Um, why do I wanna make this? Well, I don't, I guess I can just do Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can do it here and make it about ten. That should be enough. Ten inside. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's not very big for storage. If I have to for space, I can move the wall down here and make this part of the dining area too. I can do that if I need to. I just I don't think I shouldn't have did the area. Hmm. Oops. So, wow, it's huge. So we'll probably just have escalators here. sound on something whoa what are we doing on our second floor we're not <laughs> I suppose they're waiting for uh, materials walls they probably have but other stuff okay I need to uh, check to see which uh, gate is not connected to the baggage system and I'll do that uh, off camera because my time is up for this episode thank you so much for watching welcome new subscribers Join me again for Sim Airport. And remember, be kind.